Hey, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? All right, hopefully you're doing all right. So we're here with the Ramones, first time on the channel. Ramones is a name I've heard a lot. I remember seeing patches. Their patches were everywhere. I swear they're probably still everywhere. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, I would say the punk scene, the punk crowd would be wearing like misfit patches, Ramones patches. So of course I'm familiar with their names. Couldn't say I know any of their music though. So we're going to be jumping into Ramones, getting a little taste of what this group is about I, like i said i assume they're kind of punk scene um because that's usually where i've seen their patches and and t-shirts and stuff like that so we're gonna be checking out bonzo goes to bitburg this is a donation request via paypal so thank you so much for the donation really appreciate that man we're gonna be jumping into this one and checking this one out bonzo goes to bitburg um i don't know if this is the whole band and if the band includes uh, a gorilla and uh, another type of maybe chimpanzee here that'd be pretty cool see what kind of instruments or backing vocals they partake in in this song afterwards but for now we're going to jump into this ramones bonzo goes to bitburg all right donation request once again thank you so much let's go ahead and check it out
presently surprised or pleasantly <laughs> presently and pleasantly surprised on this one i didn't know what i was going to get into here um i gotta say i've heard punk music before and maybe uh underground punk and it's not one of my favorite genres okay but that's not what i got here that's just kind of what i was expecting i've heard really underground punk uh and i'm talking about local kind of stuff here in my in my city and and surrounding in america and underground really uh i don't know it's really really chaotic music really high pitched screaming and stuff and uh super fast paced sometimes kind of almost feels very unorganized at times um and i got to say it's not some of my favorite music but i was kind of expecting okay are we going to get like more of a punk vibe uh with this that of that kind of punk up use and it wasn't this is totally different than what i was expecting and it is it's good it's really good sounding so the ramones man i like that maybe people should have stuck closer to this stuff because this is good stuff um i really like the drumming as well the drumming stuck out i like the harmonies um and i like the singer's voice man it fits it fits the vibe of the song here uh but like i said the drumming was really uh the the mainstay winner for me i was trying to catch the lyrics and that's one thing i maybe I take into the future with me when I do the Ramones is I probably need to pull up some lyrics because it was kind of hard for me to understand. I understand uh, it sounded like he was taking the shots at uh, politicians. Uh, he's, you know, kind of talking about hiding behind your politics um, and they, they drive him, they're driving him crazy. It's kind of the vibes I was getting with this one, but we'll take a little deeper dive. All right, so we've got this uh, song right here released in 1985. Man, they got it listed as punk rock, hard rock. Uh, just dope. Really good song to me, man. I was pleasantly surprised, like I said. I, I enjoyed the sound, and it makes me understand that, hey, man, I probably would enjoy a lot more Ramones if I if I pay attention to them and listen to them. Uh, so we got some background right here. It says the song was written in reaction to the visit paid by U.S. President Ronald Reagan to a military cemetery in Bitburg, West Germany on May 5th, 1985. Reagan laid a wreath at the cemetery and then gave a public address at the nearby airbase. The visit was part of a trip paying tribute to the victims of Nazism and celebrating West Germany's revival as a powerful democratic ally of the U.S. Reagan's plan to visit Bisberg Cemetery had been criticized in the United States, Europe, and Israel because amongst the approximately 2,000 German soldiers buried there were 49 members of the Waffen-SS uh, the combat arm of the SS, which committed many atrocities. Amongst those vehemently opposed to the trip were Jewish and veterans group and both houses of the U.S. Congress. The phrase Bozo goes to Pittsburgh was coined by protesters in the weeks leading up to Reagan's trip. Dang. Employed as a, uh, ep epitaph, uh, for the Reagan, Bonzo is actually the name of a chimpanzee title character in the bedtime for Bonzo, a 1951 comedy starring Reagan. Dang, so he was also in the comedy, uh, but then they ended up listing him, naming him Bozo. Oof. Uh, the phrase also echoes the title of the film's sequel, Bonzo Goes to College. <laughs> yeah, Bonzo Goes to College, Bonzo Goes to Bitburg. Uh, though Reagan did not appear in that picture. Before departing for Germany, Reagan ignited more controversy when he expressed his belief that the soldiers buried at Bitburg were victims just as surely as the victims in the concentration camps. In his remarks immediately after the cemetery visit, Reagan said that the crimes of the SS must rank amongst the most heinous in human history, but noted that many of those uh, entered at Bitburg were simply soldiers in the German army. There were thousands of such soldiers for whom Nazism meant no more than a brutal end to a short life. Discussing the inspiration for the song, Ramon's lead singer Joey Ramon, a Jewish man, explained that the president sort of shit on everybody uh, interviewed in 1986. He said, we had watched Reagan going to visit the SS Cemetery on TV and were disgusted. We're all good Americans, but Reagan's thing uh, was like, forgive and forget. How can you forget six million people being gassed and roasted? Holy Joey Ramone shared writing credit with Ramone's bassist D.D. Ramone and Ramone's producer and former uh, plasmatics bassist keyboardist Jean uh, Beauvoir. Beauvoir? Uh, commenters on the song, commentators on the song tend to suggest that Joey was its primary Arthur. Mickey Lay, Joey's brother, who is particularly uh, close with D.D., claimed that while everybody believed Joey had been uh, impetus to write the song it was actually dd so there we go man some wow i mean that's some uh 
Yeah, dude, they they weren't holding back. They they weren't holding back, and I applaud people that don't hold back uh, like that, man. I mean, if that's how you felt and you you wanted to write this, and it sounds like uh you had some backing, man. Uh, it sounds like that was a chant created amongst many people who opposed that. So, and they they kind of made it a, an anthem song against uh standing against him there so here we go a little bit about the ramones man they're out of queens new york all right dude new york city i didn't know i thought i i kind of figured they were going to be overseas uh i don't know why i thought they were going to be from over overseas over in the uk or something but they're right here in new york uh genres of course punk rock pop rock and uh, they were active from 1974 to 1996. No longer active. And dude, everybody's a Ramon. Joey Ramon, Johnny Ramon, Didi, Tommy, Marky, Richie, Elvis, and CJ Ramon. That is a lot of Ramones, dude. Holy. It says they are often cited as the first true punk rock group. Seriously, is that for real? Man, this was a good sound. And I gotta say, some punk, uh, like I said, that is not my favorite, has deviated far from uh, the beaten path that I heard on this song, at least, man. So that was a good song. A very good song, man. I enjoyed it, dude. It says, all of the band members adopted suedo names, ending with the surname Ramon, although none of them were biologically related. They were inspired by Paul McCartney, who would check into hotels under aliases, uh, the alias Paul Ramon. So the Ramones performed. Okay, uh, so <laughs> there we go, man. I was like, dude, they're like, this is a big family group. Nope, they would just adopt that uh, last name, Ramon. Makes a lot of sense. I, I, I seriously thought we just had like a family gig here, dude. Great sound here. Thank you for the donation request. Really appreciated that one. Enjoyed this one very much, man. That's a, that's a good group. That's a good group. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today, man. If you did, please don't forget, like, subscribe. Check out the descriptions down below for other ways you could help the channel, man. With that being said, I'm gone. I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.